of the triad. The southern Piedmont has already been dealing with some heavy rains and over the last 24 hours, some of the heavier showers and storms are coming in thanks to a front that has stalled out over the mountains. So we've got that already going for us. We had two to three inches there this morning, causing some flood advisories in Yakinville, parts of Davie County near Moxville. You can see anywhere from uh, two to three in some of those zones. So showers and storms are developing right now. It's getting dark. It's getting noisy and then widely scattered storms through the afternoon, meaning that we're not going to see everyone fill in with the rain, but by later this evening, you can bet that we have much better opportunities as this system likely moves in as a category one hurricane. We're talking about tropical storm right now, Isaias, and this is going to move toward the North Carolina coast. Unfortunately, it's strengthening likely before landfall, and then it's going to move through the sand hills. So a little bit farther west to the track today, and it has picked up just a little bit of speed since this morning. So northwesterly to north movement now at 13 miles an hour. And you can see for our impacts, it's flash flooding. They've dropped the rainfall possibilities just a little bit in terms of totals, one to three inches more likely in the eastern triad. Mountains and foothills, you still have all of your showers and thunderstorms going on thanks to a front still sitting there. And we're looking at that system interacting with the tropical moisture that's rolling in. So a lot of that moisture just being grabbed and rolled in as it approaches now uh, the Charleston coastline. You can see all the heavy downpours, coastal flooding there. Storm surge is going to be a bigger deal as it gets closer tonight between 9 o'clock tonight night and really 5 a.m. tomorrow morning storm surge is going to be possible, especially from Oak Island Southport, and we'll show you that in just a moment. But look at the lightning, the storms that are filling in overhead now in Winston-Salem and Greensboro. We've got good lightning, but soaking rain, no severe thunderstorms at the moment, but isolated severe may be possible mainly along the eastern coastline today. Can't rule out a strong storm or two across the tried one or two with wind gusts that come up 20, 30 miles an hour just from the storm itself from the tropicals system, Isaias, we could get some trees coming down because we've had good moisture, good ground soil conditions to take things down easily, and that could cause some power outages. So looking at that track, yes, we are in line to see this system move in as a top end tropical storm or just a low end category one hurricane. And I don't mean just, just, you know, we had some interviews with folks earlier who said they weren't too worried about the system. Oh, and that it shouldn't cause power outages. I would think that this is going to cause a lot of power outages when we're talking about intense winds along the coast. In fact, they've got hurricane warnings up now all the way through Topsail Beach, and that includes parts of Myrtle Beach and North Carolina beaches like Oak Island, Baldhead area. And look at the storm surge flooding. You're looking at this really north of the Edisto Island River area, but three to five foot storm surge possible in this zone especially. So you'd go through Sunset, Ocean Isle Beach areas. That's the area up through the Cape Fear River that we're really worried about seeing a high rise in the water levels thanks to a combination of tide and the incoming storm. You've also got those tropical gusts. Look at this 90 mile an hour gust possible between about 10 o'clock tonight and midnight. This continues with gusts as high as 95 to 80 mile an hour winds up into Greenville area too. So intense winds and we will see the winds here around 20 to 30 miles an hour. Our bigger concern will be flash flooding potential with one to three inches and some heavy downpours already starting right now for you. Those scattered showers and storms fill in throughout the afternoon and evening. Even more thunderstorms storms are likely and then we start to clear out by early tomorrow morning. So we're looking at that seven day forecast with 85 degrees for you today, 84 tomorrow, and we take your storm chances down and put you back into the 80s.